Hi and welcome back to Bosnia Herzegovina. We're not in Montenegro anymore. We are back in Banja Luka. We're not in Banja Luka. We're outside. We are outside of Banja Luka, but we are close to Banja Luka. We had 10 days, a wonderful 10 days in Montenegro. Why do we go to Montenegro every year? Because once you fall in love with Boca, you are always in love with Boca. What's Boca? It's a Boca Bay. It's the Bay, bay. of Koto. Bay of Koto, yeah. Right, some years ago, when Tam and I first met, we used to go for our sort of like summer break to the Istria, which is the northern part of Croatian coast, right? Yes, and we used to go to the... Uh, island called Rab. Which is where your family comes from. The reason is, yes, part of my fam- family comes from the island of Rab. But, but I'm born Banja Luka girl. But and my mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem for us was that Croatian tourism exploded again. And it became more and more, increasingly more expensive. Um, for us, wasn't it? Yes, for us, that's true. So we had to go and find somewhere else, and you decided that we should go down to Perchen. Perchen, but we used to go before uh, Croatia, we used to go to Perchen for five, six years now. This was the seventh year, I believe, and the last year we had things that we did in Croatia, so we stayed there for six weeks, uh, working with my friend on a project. And this year we decided to go back to Baka Bay. Now, this time when we went back, we didn't go back to the normal place. And if you check the videos that we've put on for the previous years, you'll see all the things that we were doing there. Um, I think it was in the centre of Perchan, right? Yes. You, can, you can say where we were. Yes. But this time, Tam found a really cool place using Airbnb um, between Stoliv and Perchan. And Perchan. I thought it and was amazing. It's, it's near uh, uh, Akis Hotel Vermont. There's a video coming. It's actually behind the hot environments, very near, like 10, 20 meters. 20 meters away. There's a, there's, if you want to check an Englishman in the Balkans.com, there's a blog post and a video about it. But one thing that we've always seen when we've been like relaxing and you've been swimming, because I don't do swimming much. Um, I do lots of we, swimming. We see these speed boats and they absolutely rip up and down the Bay of Kotor. Yes. And I always said to you, let's go, but you always said no. No. And then when I do that... And then I finally decided and I said well, yes. Well, my brother came and I think, she, I, I think she was ashamed. No, I was not ashamed. I just saw an ad on the beach actually, like a sandwich ad in front of the uh, restaurant where we used to have pizza. And it seems very interesting and the price was quite reasonable. 30 euros So 30 per euros person. per person. But you have di- different type of rides. This one was like the longest one. Not the longest one, it's 40 euros, but it sounds like three hours. And uh, it sounded pretty interesting, and uh, it took us to some cool places. Well, yeah. So we went down. My brother was with us. So when you watch the film, when you watch the video that's just about to come, you'll see a guy sat at the back. He's got no hair. He's bald. Um, and that's my His brother. His name is Trevor. His name is Trevor. He's Englishman. Yes. So we had two Englishmen. But in the not from the Balkan. No. He's from England. Yeah. And this he's one's a, from the Balkan. And he's a poet. The and there's going to be some poetry on the um, on, on our blog very very soon. But we went on this, we went out and went to the Blue Cave. Yes. That's on the Croatian coast I though, isn't it? swam in the Blue that, Cave. Is it on the Montenegrin coast? It is, isn't Montenegro it? Montenegro coast, yes. Yeah. Went to the Blue Cave. What did you think about swimming in there? Because when people see the video in a minute, they're going to say, but the water's blue. Or they're going to say, ha-ha, they've got lights in the bottom. No, there were no lights in the bottom, but uh, the water is not always blue. That's a mistake. The water is like a black. You know, when you swim, it's a black. And then, then you have these like... Uh, tinkling um, the blue color that just comes up all of a sudden it's like from the from the bottom of the thing you will see when we were swimming like it's dark dark and then it comes blue like a light like a blue and it was warm you said it was very warm but it's the, the water Adriatic was surprisingly sea. warm yes I thought because it was an open sea that the water in the cave would be very cold and I actually jumped in it and I was thinking before jumping oh, I'm gonna freeze freeze and then I didn't it was very warm so we did that for about 20 minutes wasn't it yeah about 20 minutes and then we went then we moved along the coast a bit more for a 10 minute quick we went inside a a submarine pen it's a couple of submarine pens from the old Yugoslav navy Mm -hmm. which is like they dug into the side of the mountain very impressive and from there we went back into the bay oh yeah and we went right through the middle of the ferry path yes. if i can call it the ferry that we have to take to get to perch and goes from one part of the land to the other we went right through the middle um to our lady of the rock 
which is yes. quite an, a neat little Orthodox church in the middle of the lake. Yes. Han, uh, human made. Yeah, they say that the sailors put stones on. Yes, it's, and other people uh, apparently it's by the sink, the Turkish, Turkish uh, Yeah, some uh, people say it's the Turkish ships yeah. that were sunk there and they built a church on top of it. Yeah. And other people say it was stones. Yeah. But I thought the whole thing, it just went so fast. I mean, yeah, the journey went so fast. Yeah, the time it was went, like wasn't a, it? Yeah, the time went really, really fast. It was quite interesting and very enjoyable and relaxing. And I, I used, I filmed it on my DJI Osmo Action which we're filming this on at the moment. So it's a tiny um, action camera, but it's got amazing stabilization. Yes, you, because... You were a bit annoyed when... When David films his shakes... No, the, and, the boat was going up and down. And his hand shakes, and, yeah. but this camera apparently avoid that. So yeah, you got annoyed when it, I bought yeah. it. You didn't know that yeah. I bought a new camera. Yeah, I didn't know. I thought it was a sponsorship for his channel. But we don't but have it. Wrong. We don't have any sponsorship yet because you are going to sponsor us somehow. What do you think? Uh, that, that'd yeah. be good. Buy him a coffee. The last thing to say before you see the video is, I believe in Promaya. He believes. Finally, he believes in Promaya. Promaya. Everyone is, says Promaya kills people in Balkan. He but I'm still alive. He's still alive, but he's been uh, he's been sick. <laughs> I I sat at the front of that motorboat, that speedboat. For three hours in the wind. Me too. And but I got burnt. Actually, it was uh, he got burnt. Yes. And I got. Uh, I think I got. He, the he start got pramaya disease. Yes. Yeah. The draft. Uh, it was very windy because the way uh, when we were leaving the Baka Bay, it was windy that way. So kind of the the boat crashes with the wind. But on the way back, the wind was uh, still going the opposite way, so it was not that bad. And plus, we were driving much slower, exploring the city of Perast, actually seeing it from the sea. And then it was not too bad. I didn't find it too bad on the way back. No, but it was bless it was bumpy and blustery yes, on the way. Yes, because up. Uh, if he didn't drive the way he was d driving, we would do it all day. It would take us take us all day to do it because we went quite distance from Qatar. Right. So that's our update. We're back in Bich in Bosnia Herzegovina. I think there's another two videos coming that we made to do with Montenegro. If you do like the channel, please share, like, and subscribe. Subscribing means a lot. Uh, if you want to comment, that helps us even more. But the biggest thing is, is press press the dingly dongly bangly bang button so that you get notified every time when we have something new on our channel. And we will be back um, shortly. Shortly here on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram, wherever else you see it, wherever you are in the world, do stay safe. And, and now it's a season when we make winter food, so we're going to be filming how we make some stuff. And that's about it. That's about it. Enjoy the film. Enjoy the film. Make a comment down below and tell us if you swim in the blue lake. <laughs> the blue cave. The blue cave in Montenegro. I knew I said something wrong there. See you later. But English is my second language. See you. Bye. <laughs>